Okay, so today I'm going to walk you through using a piece of free software which is available on Windows or on Mac to try to put clips together to produce your lessons or so that you can edit the clips that you've recorded um, or to just tidy them up a bit or to try some different effects out. So the piece of software that we're using today is called OpenShot and it's a free piece of software and I'll put a link to it in the description below. Now, I generally tend to do all of my editing on iMovie, which I'll talk about in a separate video, um, but for the period of time when I didn't have a Mac available to me, I found OpenShot to be really helpful and it gave me a lot of options with what I could do and the fact that it was free really helped as well. So, when you open up OpenShot, this is going to be what you find. And I will say I'm editing on my, um, on my Mac, but the options and everything from what I can see are identical to Windows. Um, so, what I've got here as I open up is I've got a preview window, I've got uh, my options on the top, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, I'm going to Import Files, and if I go across to Desktop, to Videos, I'm just going to pull in a couple of clips from one of my more recent videos and I'm going to open them across and I'll transfer across and it takes and you'll see it start to fill through now. Okay so this is the panel where I have all the different kinds of resources and you notice you can filter them down so you can have video resources, audio or image um, and that's one of the great things with OpenShot is you can for example have music which goes over the top of something or you can insert still images which we'll try and do as well as we're going through this um, or you can just have the video which is probably what most of you are going to use. So I've got my video panel up here, I've got a preview panel here so I can see how the video is coming together and this bottom part down here is where we're going to be doing our editing. Okay, So these are different multiple tracks. Now. A track is something that you can place a video or an image or a piece of audio or even a piece of um, a title or a piece of writing in and that in essence is your video. So the ability to have multiple tracks on a piece of software like OpenShot means that you can for example have two videos playing over the top of each other or three videos or uh, a separate piece of audio with a video playing and an image over the top of that. And I'm going to try and walk you through this as we go. So I've got my four videos here that I recorded the other day and let's say for example a perfect situation I recorded these four pieces of video and I don't need to do any editing to them. I just want to put them onto a video, I want to put them together and then I just want to process the video. All I would do is one at a time I would drag them down onto one of the tracks. Now, I'm always going to work with the same track if I'm not doing anything fancy, say for example if I'm just putting all the videos next to each other, so that's what I'm going to do here. If I pull this out, it gives us an extended view of our timeline, and we can see on the top that's uh, minutes and seconds. So I'm going to pull down all these clips, and if there was no issues whatsoever with any of the, any of the videos you'd recorded, you would just simply afterwards go to File, Export Video. If you wanted to, what you could do is you could just press the play and it will run you through the preview of what's going on. And You can skip ahead to different bits to see, okay, how do these transition with one another? Has this got everything that I need on it? Let's say, for example, on one of the videos that you've put together or one of the clips that you have recorded, actually you you, you want to remove something. Let's say that you, you, you started an introduction, it didn't work out, so you want to cut it. Okay, so let's say for example it's this one. So if I zoom in slightly, we can use the cut or snipping tool to separate that part off. Let's say for example, now I've cut the audio out of this one, but let's say this little bit in the beginning is not necessary. It's maybe I said something wrong or something which I want to remove. I'll select the scissors Let's say I want to cut it here, I'll just simply click on that and you'll notice it separates the video into two parts. After that I'm going to unclick the scissors which removes like the snipping tool and then I might choose to just press delete and delete that part of the video. Okay? And it works in exactly the same way, say for example there's a portion of the middle that you don't need anymore or you've re-recorded, I can snip that into multiple pieces. 
and just delete that. And as long as I bring those two videos back together on the timeline, so that they're next to each other, they're not overlapping and there's no gap between it, then your video will be fine. There won't be any breaks in it. If, say for example, if I move these just slightly apart, and I were to leave this as it were, and I were to kind of export this video or, or make it ready for viewing, when I press play, all that's gonna happen is there's gonna be a brief moment of like a black screen or nothing going on. Okay, let's try and make things a little bit more complicated. In a lot of my videos, I tend to have two things happening at once. So I might be working on a piece of artwork, and then at the same time, I might have a smaller little box or rectangle somewhere of me talking through the process. So if that was the situation and you wanted that to happen, um, I'm gonna drag this clip of me doing my artwork to track one, and let's say this is the one where I'm talking about it, and I'm gonna drag that to um, track two, so it's above it. Now, whatever, as we're, as we're looking at this now, you'll notice the video of me talking is all you can see. You can't see the artwork anymore. So we want to change that. So if I right click on the one that I want to be the smaller one, I can go to layout and I can choose to make it a quarter size in either the center, the top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right. So let's say let's go with top right here. Okay, so with OpenShot, what I can do is I can move myself off to the side, and you'll notice as I press play now, you'll see that the action is going on in the background on my drawing. So let's pause this. Let's move it to, let's move it to top left so we can see the drawing happening. Okay, you'll notice that the drawing's happening and you can see me talking over the top of it. Now one minor problem that I have noticed with OpenShot, whenever I'm trying to do something complicated like this, say for example have, having two videos playing at the same time, you'll notice in the preview it tends to stutter a little bit. Okay, I've noticed this on, on different computers that I've used and I'm not sure if it's a problem with the software or maybe just with the computers that I'm using. So you may not have the same issue. But even if whilst you are previewing this you notice, say for example, your movement in one of the videos is a little bit jerky or shaky. When you export the video or get it ready to be shown to students or wherever you're gonna put it up, that won't be an issue. That will resolve itself by then. Okay, again, let's try something else and make, make it a little bit more interesting to watch. Let's say, for example, I've got my introduction where I'm talking through um, what it is that we're gonna be doing today. It might be that I want to include a title with that or just a written prompt of something that I'm saying at the time. So I'm going to go to title and title and I tend to when I'm working with OpenShot always just use the the bar free function. So I'm going to change the line of this to be let's say we'll go with learning let's go with learning objective learn to use OpenShot editor Okay, let's just correct that E. And I'm gonna hit save. Now you'll notice this appears in the top under all the videos in the um, showing all of the project files. I'm gonna drag this down. I'm gonna put it onto another track and you can already see in the preview window, it creates a semi-transparent um, bar at the bottom which will then allow you to kind of put a title on it to explain what you're doing. Now you can right click on this so if I right click on this and I go to edit title, I can make changes to the text color, the background color, or the font type, or I can say if I notice a spelling mistake, I can change it later. So you have quite a lot of flexibility as you're working with OpenShot on this. Okay, um, one of the last things that I'll talk through is the ability to speed up one of the clips while having the other one running at a normal speed. So I've got my two clips set up again, I've got my bottom one of me producing artwork, I have my top one of me talking, I'm going to go same as before, I'm going to go to quarter size, let's put it on the bottom right this time. Now if I were to just play it now and see the preview, you can see both of these are running at the same speed. Now if I right click onto the, um, the, the video where I'm doing the artwork and I go to time, I can go to fast or slow, so I can, I can speed things up or I can slow them down. 
I'm going to go to fast forward and I'm going to speed up by four times. And with the preview, what we'll notice then, the artwork is going much quicker, but the video that is playing in front is playing at regular speed. Again, there might be a bit of juttering or stuttering with it, but that's just part of the editor or my laptop that I'm editing on. Now with this in mind, if, say for example, while you were recording one clip of you doing something in the background, there was some noise that you picked up, you can actually remove the audio from that track. Or you can say if you have multiple tracks, you can remove the audio from any of them. Say I want to be sure that you can't hear the pencil scratching on the page or whatever was happening in the background when I recorded that um, the me producing the artwork, all I would do is right click onto the track where I don't want the audio, go to volume, entire clip, and I just set the level to 0%, so there's no volume on that whatsoever. Okay, there's more that you can do with OpenShot, but for now I think that's enough of the basics to get anyone who needs the help getting started with putting videos together in a position where they can put those videos together. Um, feel free to experiment to look into the properties of the video clips if you want to try and push your knowledge of the software a little bit more, but if you encounter any issues with them, please feel free to leave me a comment below or to try and search up the, um, the solution yourself as you go. I've been using OpenShot for a few months. Um, I find it to be very helpful. I have run into some frustrating aspects, um, but really considering the fact that it's free, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Good luck putting your own videos together. I hope this has been helpful to you. If not, or if you have questions that you would like answered, please leave them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me. Good luck and until next time, bye bye.